All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And if you made it this far, then you are in luck because this is where things are gonna start getting really good. Because starting with this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use UI Kit Dynamics. And what that is, is essentially a way that we can apply real world physics to objects on our screen, which makes it really awesome whenever we're making games. And a few things that you can do with this are like, I don't know, say you have like a character or just a shape on the screen, you can apply gravity to it and collision detection between like characters or objects. And that's really useful because if you ever tried making a game and trying to like add gravity or even collision detection on your objects, it's like, it's a pain in the butt writing all those formulas and see if seeing if the pixels overlap and oh my. So what iOS did is they pretty much made a class where all of this is built in and you can of course customize it a little bit but it's really easy to make in just a few lines of code so pretty stinking awesome let's go ahead and get started so the first thing I did is I created a brand new blank project nothing new and I'm gonna hop right over to my view controller and clean it up a little bit so instead of let me delete that instead of dragging any objects on our storyboard what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create everything right through code so it'll be a little bit easier all right so for this example I'm just gonna create two very simple shapes and we already know the basics of creating shapes and animating them so I wrote I won't really spend too much time but I will add a comment I'll say uh, create two shapes and I'll just make like uh, two simple rectangles so var, I'll name this one green square, and of course it's a UI view object, and I'll make another one. And this is, of course, I want to make two because eventually I'm going to be showing you guys how to add collision detection, which means whenever they bump into each other in the real world, they wouldn't like blend into each other or like overlap. They actually would act like real world objects and kind of, you know, move each other or just smack into each other and kind of behave like we would expect them to. So I'll make a red one since it will be easy to differentiate. All right, so now we actually should probably actually create these since we have a reference to them. All right, so let me add another one. Create the shapes. So I wanted to add variables outside because later on we're gonna build additional methods and we need them um, as well. So now in the view did load is where you initialize them. In other words, create them. So in order to create these rectangles, we need to give it parameters. In other words, when your app first starts out, where do you want these shapes to appear? And also how big are they? Simple enough. So I'm just going to make a new variable called demen for dimensions. And of course, anytime you want to make a rectangle, it's CG rect make make a new rectangle. Now the first two parameters are the coordinates. So I'll put this one at like a 25, 25. And the last two are just the width and the height of it. And I'll put it like at a 60, 60. So this will be a square that's 60 by 60. And it'll appear somewhere in the top left corner, 25 over and 25 down. So those are my dimensions. Now after this, I'm going to take that green square and I'm going to call UI view and the frame of this takes as you see a CG rect and those are just the dimensions the parameters of how you want to make your rectangle so after this we have a rectangle made but these are just pretty much the outlines of the blueprint we don't have any color yet or it's pretty much just invisible rectangle right now so if we take that invisible rectangle and call background color on it, then what we can do is we can set that to a UI color. And what was this green square? So I'll say green color. So this sets up the location and the size of it. And now we added some color to it so it, we can actually you know see it. So now if I just copy this, I can pretty much do the same exact thing for the red one. 
Now, of course, for dimensions, I don't want to create that variable again, but you can use the same one to overwrite it. All right, so I'll put this like a, I don't know, how big is that, 25? All right, so like one, 30 across and 25 down. And the size of this will be a little bit bigger. It'll be 90 by 90. So again, the first one, is gonna appear 25 over and 25 down. It's gonna be kind of small. And the other one, the red one, is gonna appear 130 pixels over, 25 down. So they'll be at the same height, but this one will be a little bit bigger. And this one is of course called red square. And this is all good. Make a red square view object with these dimensions. Now for the background color, it's just gonna change this to red color. So it is a different color, simple enough. So now we have two objects in memory, but in order to add them to the screen, so they actually display, what we need to do is we need to take self view, which pretty much means this view, the main screen, and we wanna add a sub view, which means add a sub view object, obviously. And what was that first one, green square, and do the same thing for red. So pretty much means add two objects to the screen. Red square. All right, so simple enough. So this, if we go ahead and just run this, it's just gonna create the objects in that location of that size. It's not gonna you know, apply any physics to it or anything like that yet because we didn't actually use UIKit Dynamics yet. We just created some objects put them on the screen and they're good to go. So obviously look at these things. They look like they're begging to be dropped. So in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to add gravity to your screen and whenever we do, it's gonna cause, as soon as the screen loads, these objects to start falling towards the ground. It's gonna be pretty sweet, so I'll see you then.